We have an exciting passage today found in Romans 15, 13. And it says this, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, who doesn't want to experience hope, uh, joy, uh, and peace in their lives? I mean, we all do. And the cool thing about this passage is it tells us exactly how to do that. And we gain all that because we put our trust in God. Now, different translations say it slightly different ways. Some translation says because we put our trust in God. Some say because we put our confidence in God. Some say because we put our faith in God. All these things, trust, faith, confidence, essentially mean the same thing. Now, because everything rests on this, I think it's really important that we get a strong handle on this. And unfortunately, sometimes we've made the concept of faith maybe a little bit too weird and spooky and strange to really be that useful. But push come to shove, the idea of faith is really, really simple. Faith is simply choosing to rely or depend on something. So for example, if I want to put my faith in a chair, what do I do? Well, I sit in the chair. Uh, simply believing that the chair exists isn't going to help me very much. If I want to get any benefit from the chair, I need to sit in it. That's how faith works. We put our faith in a plane by getting on the plane. We put our faith in a dentist by going to the dentist, sitting in the chair, and opening up our mouths. Faith is just simply choosing to trust in something. Now, sometimes we get a few things else mixed up with faith here. The most important thing about our faith is not how much faith we have, but who or what we put our faith in. About 25 years ago, Charles Price explained to me like this. Imagine it's the spring, and it's getting warmer, and the ice is almost off the lake. In fact, you just have a razor-thin amount of ice there, maybe a thickness of a dime. What will happen if you boldly put your faith in that ice? You put your confidence in that ice. You walk out onto that ice. What's going to happen? Well, you might boldly walk on that ice, but you boldly better have a towel because you're going to boldly fall through. Why? Well, not because you didn't have enough faith. It's because you put your faith in thin ice. Thin ice simply cannot support you or sustain you. We do that in our lives all the time. A lot of people can go around saying, you know, I believe in myself. I have self-confidence. I trust in myself. Well, you know what? That's nice. Uh, but you're immortal. You're frail. You're human. There is nothing that you do that is perfect. We're all flawed in some important ways. Imagine all the knowledge that exists. This is what you have. All the wisdom that exists. This is what you have. All the power that exists, this is what you have. We put our, all our confidence and trust and faith in ourselves. We're putting our confidence in thin ice. Well, some people say, well, I don't put confidence in myself. I put my confidence in the experts or what the majority of people say. That's no different and that's no better. Well, let's change our scenario. Instead of thin ice, let's say we're in Winnipeg in January and it's been minus 30 for months and that ice is now nine feet thick but let's say now that we just got tiny bit of mustard seed faith in that thick ice so we think we have a 51 percent chance of living what's going to happen then well we might put on a life jacket and maybe an inner tube around ourselves and tie a rope to our leg and then off to a tree on the side and we might creep out onto that ice with very little faith but are we going to fall through? Of course not. The ice is nine feet thick. It will hold a tank. The most important thing about our faith is what we put our faith in. When we put our faith in an almighty God who is all-knowing, all-powerful, all-loving, our faith is secure because of what and who we put it in. That's the most important thing. Now, does the amount of faith we have matter? Well, of course it does. Uh, not as much as what we put it in, but it still matters. Imagine going on an airplane ride, flying across the country. If you've got watermelon faith in that plane, you're going to enjoy your flight. You're going to have a nap. You're going to have a snack. 
you're going to read a book, you're going to be fine. But if you've got mustard seed size faith in that plane, you know what? It's not going to be a good flight. Uh, you're not going to have a nap. You're not going to read a book. And if you attempt to eat, that meal is soon going to find itself in an airsick bag. Now, you're going to get to the same destination at the same time because you put your faith in the same thing, but it's not going to go that well. Well, same thing with putting our trust in God here. You know what? If we put mustard seed size faith in God, God is still strong. He's still able. He's going to save us, and not any power in heaven, earth, or hell can take us out of his hand. But if we put a mustard seed size faith in God, we're going to have a mustard seed size measure in hope a mustard seed size measure in joy, and mustard seed measure of peace. But if we put our full measure of faith in God, we take everything that we are, all our hopes, all our dreams, all our ambitions, and put it into the hands of an almighty God, what we are going to have is we're going to have a full measure of hope, a full measure of joy, and a full measure of peace in our lives.